today's Martha Mundy. Our regular subscribers know that on Fridays we publish some biblical teaching from the Word of God, but on Mondays we like to offer something practical, inspired by that famous sister in the Bible, Martha. And so Martha was busy at home, and we try to be busy at home and give you some helpful ideas that will hopefully enable you to have a shortcut or a tip or a hack or just an idea to help you manage your hearth and home a little more efficiently or joyfully or just give you a new recipe idea. So today I'm going to share my recipe for rotisserie chicken. But I want to share the whole idea of a rotisserie chicken and how you can use that chicken that you pick up at Walmart or Sam's Club or, or wherever you buy yours at your local grocery store. I'm going to call this one chicken equals two meals or maybe I should say one chicken equals one dinner and several lunches because I picked up that rotisserie chicken and we had it for supper the other night and now I'm using my leftover rotisserie chicken to make homemade chicken salad. And some of you may have never made homemade chicken salad. It may be something you love but you always think you have to buy. It's just so easy and so much more affordable than buying it already prepared for you. Now, before I jump into my chicken salad recipe, I want to share that um, a rotisserie chicken is such a great idea when it's been a full day. Now, all of us have those days of running errands or doing chores outside or tackling a closet. You know what I'm talking about. That day that you get caught up in doing those tasks and checking the box and checking off the list and you fail to lay something out for dinner, you fail to make plans for dinner, you're driving home or you're finishing up the day and you just decide for convenience sake to pick up fast food, to run through a drive-thru, to do something easy that is not necessarily saving much money and it usually is certainly not very healthy. So here's my go-to meal on those days. This week I had one of those days. I had gone across the way to do several errands. I was gone longer than I planned. So I decided on my way home to pick up a rotisserie chicken for my quick go-to meal when life is full. So I put on my mask, of course, ran in Sam's Club, picked up a rotisserie chicken. I think it was $4.98. May have been $5.98. I think it was $4.98. Doesn't matter. I picked that chicken up, brought it home, and my go-to meal, that rotisserie chicken, do a baked sweet potato or a baked white potato, whatever you like. Grab one of those bags of frozen vegetables out of the freezer that's easy to do in the microwave. And we had a pretty healthy meal. Baked potato, vegetables, steamed vegetables, and rotisserie chicken. It was affordable. It was much healthier than picking up burgers or whatever at a drive-thru. So that's idea number one with the rotisserie chicken. A quick meal that's somewhat healthy and certainly less expensive, most likely. I spent less money than I would have if I'd gone through a drive through and picked up a greasy burger. So that was meal one with that chicken. But then I took the chicken that was left. I went ahead and already had that diced up. And even after Kevin and I had that meal, had that chicken for one meal, I still have four cups of chicken left. Now, when I had children at home, that one rotisserie chicken probably wouldn't have left enough of, to have four cups of rotisserie chicken left. So if you've got teenagers, if you've got several children, you may have just enough chicken left to make one or two sandwiches, but that's okay. Whatever is left, you can make rotisserie chicken salad. Now the rotisserie chicken salad at Sam's Club is $4.98 a pound. So if I were buying the chicken and then going over and buying a pound of chicken salad, I would have spent that much again. So. This is a way to save money, use up the leftovers, and it's all so delicious. If you've never had chicken salad made with rotisserie chicken, you're in for a treat. It's just so moist and so wonderful. So I'm gonna go ahead and just share with you what I do. I don't really have a recipe for this. I just sort of make it up as I go along and sort of dump together. In the interest of helping you make your own, I'm gonna try to give you some measurements even though I've never done that before. So here goes. I'm going to begin, of course, with my four cups of rotisserie chicken. But again, if you only have a cup of it left, you can make a couple of sandwiches. I have a feeling that my husband is going to enjoy rotisserie chicken several times this week for lunch, and he loves it. Now, I love to use onion in everything. If the recipe doesn't call for it, I still add onion. So I dice up about half of an onion that I have in the fridge, and I'm going to put this in here. I may not use, yeah, I think I'm going to use all of it. This is about half of an onion diced. If you've got a purple onion, use that, minus white. If you have celery, celery adds a little bit of crunch. 
It's also delicious. I didn't have celery. I may have dumped that in as well if I had it on hand, but the onion will add that little bit of crunch. Then I like this seasoning. Now you can use whatever you like for seasoning, but I like this all-purpose dill mix from Pampered Chef. I think it adds just a delicious flavor to my chicken salad. And again, I just sprinkle it on. I don't really measure, I just add it to taste. So on my recipe that I'll add for you to download, it's just going to say Pampered Chef dill mix or other seasoning to taste. So we're gonna put that in there. I'm gonna wait and add my nuts. I use walnuts in my chicken salad, but if there's an, another nut that you like, you can try that. I think walnuts are delicious in chicken salad. I'm gonna wait and add those after I do the mayonnaise and the grapes. If you've never had grapes in chicken salad, it's absolutely wonderful. I love Hellman's mayonnaise. Aldi has a knockoff version that I think works just as well, but I like using real mayonnaise when I make chicken salad. Now, sometimes you can get away with the artificial stuff, but I really like this. So again, I'm just gonna scoop out a couple of big dollops of this, and then I'm going to stir it around until it looks like it's moist enough to be adequate. And again, I don't really measure. So I hope that you can just eyeball it yourself, add a couple of dollops. I'll try to do a better job of estimating for my recipe that I'll make available for you as a download. But we're just gonna throw that in there and let it get everything kind of moist so that all the chicken is not loose. It's kind of gathering together as chicken salad should. And I think that is about right. Get my spoon cleaned off and those two or three dollops that I used turned out to be the correct amount. I'll let you see what this looks like on the video. I wish I had a clear bowl for you, but my clear bowl is filled with homemade salsa in the fridge. So there's what that kind of looks like right now. Everything is kind of sticking together nicely, but it's not real soupy either. So there's that. I'm gonna dump in. Uh, this is a bowl of walnuts that I've already chopped up, I think. It is about three-fourths of a cup. I grabbed a measuring cup so that I could measure this one. And it looks like that indeed is about three-fourths of a cup. So I'm gonna dump those in. Then I'm going to do my grapes. Now I waited to cut up the grapes because I wanted to share this cool little gadget that I got when I had a Pampered Chef party a few months ago. It's called a close and cut. And it's just, it slows, it really speeds up your mealtime prep. I've used this to slice cherry tomatoes. I've used it to slice grapes and it's wonderful. So I've already washed all these grapes. I put them in here on the top of my little closing seal. This thing has kind of got, it's spring loaded. I use this also to slice really thick chicken breasts in half. The great thing is it's dishwasher safe and this knife from Pampered Chef is also dishwasher safe. Some of my nicer knives I do not put in the dishwasher, but I love to use this one. So it's kind of springy. I've got all my grapes on there. I close it and then just barely get the knife in there, go slice it right across and all these grapes are then cut in half. I don't know if you can see that. It's wonderful. So I can just drop all of these little halved grapes right in there, and I didn't have to cut each one individually. So now I have my grapes, I have the walnuts in there, the mayonnaise, my dill mix, all the chicken, and voila, we have quite a bit of chicken salad ready to have chicken salad sandwiches this week. It's a lovely summer meal, it's cold and refreshing. I'll serve this with perhaps some pasta salad and a fresh fruit salad or just some fresh fruit on the side. It'll be nice and cold and just a great meal. So I hope that gives you an idea for how you can use buy one rotisserie chicken and make it work for one or two meals or several lunches as well. I'll post the recipe below. Maybe you'd like to make your own. And I'll also post the link to my friend Lydia's Pampered Chef site if you are interested in picking up one of these closing cuts for yourself. I really enjoyed that new gadget. Well, thanks so much for spending this time with me. I hope you have a blessed week, and I hope you'll tune in on Friday when I'm continuing to post this summer a weekly devotional taken from Words from the Word. So I'm sharing a devotional from that bookmark that if, you are, if you've downloaded a copy of the bookmark and are writing the word with me, every verse this month has the word life in it, 
And so the devotionals that I'm sharing all are inspired by one of the verses from that bookmark. I'll have the link to that below as well. I hope you have a blessed week. I hope this finds you loving your family well and staying in the Word of God. For Cross My Heart Ministry, I'm Laura McFarland. Thanks for spending this time with me. Have a great week.